Alright folks, I have an exciting announcement to make. Six Flags Great America is the cleanest theme park in the world, baby! Let's go! Now, now, calm it down guys. I know some of you are probably wondering, how in the world did Six Flags Great America become the cleanest park when you got a company like Disney who's paying their janitors $15 an hour? What are they doing, sleeping on the job? So the answer to that question is absolutely yes, but how did Six Flags Great America become the cleanest park in the world, and who even said so? Like, who is this according to? Well, I'm glad you asked. If you guys have been to the park any time recently or not so recently, you've probably seen these signs saying that Southern Great America is the cleanest theme park in the world. So if we just take a closer look here, we can see what source that's from and, uh, oh, um, there is no source. Okay, very interesting. Okay, okay, but let's not jump to conclusions here and assume they just made this up. Uh, Citizens Great America actually put out a video on this topic back in 2012, back around when they started this campaign. So let's go ahead and see what this video has to say. Okay, this kid is like five years old. How many parks has this kid actually even been to that he's seen? And he also mentions America. He didn't mention the world. So, I mean, that's not even really a source when you think about it. I think uh, a lot of the signs help around here. Uh, this is signs of the in the garbage can. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Is this guy talking about these signs? The signs that supposedly claim that it is the cleanest park in the world. You mean that those signs are telling people to throw things out and aren't actually telling the truth? No, that can't be right, that can't be right, we got hold on, hold on, hold on, we gotta continue with this video, continue with the video. A lot of mobs and bustle, keep it back, Windex, glass. Oh, you hear that guys? They, they put Windex on the glass, that's, wow, that's wild, I mean, that's, that's mind blowing, I don't know why no other park does that, that's good reason why Great America's the cleanest park in the world, right there, that's proof right there. Okay, Great America, I know you're trying to be cute here, but there's nothing secret about that, and it certainly is not a weapon. I mean, I guess you could use it for a weapon, but I'm, I'm sure you guys are not using it as a weapon, right? Right? Or do we have a lawsuit on our hands? No, no, no. Okay, continue, continue. It's a walking stick. No, it's a pickle. It's a trash picker upper. Yeah, and you win it from the flies, I guess. Did that same kid just call it a pickle? Okay, this guy... <laughs> you're telling me this kid's your number one source? I sure hope they're not showing this to uh, new employees. I don't think they want their best friend working at the park to be a picker-upper. Like, what? <laughs> you know, for the cleanest park in the world, they sure are having to pick up a lot of trash right now. Kind of interesting. Hmm. Wait, hold on, Re rewind that and slow it down. Okay, so they're trying to pick up a piece of gum stuck to the floor here, which obviously you can see on the ground by all those black spots they've obviously failed at doing several times in the past. Um, but the guy is sitting here trying to do it for a while, and it isn't until another guy with a picker-upper comes over and helps him that he's able to get the gum off the ground. <laughs> So obviously these secret weapons that Six Flags America is employing, obviously very effective against gum, very effective. It's not that you need more than one to take care of gum, and it's not like they've given up in the past, having to buy these black spots on the floor. No, 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 they always pick it up, always pick it up. Oh, c come on, why did you put this in the video? <laughs> You prove your secret weapon sucks. Guys are going there with his hand to pick it up. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, 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 why are you so mean to me, attraction ideas? Why? Picker, can you see I was blind? I'll do anything to change your mind. More than a picker, you're my best friend Too cool to forget Come back cause we are family And forgive me for making you want to roam And now my heart is beating like the saddest metronome 
Somewhere I hope you're reading my latest three-word poem. Pick or come home. 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 <gasps> Picker, you're back! I could never leave you attraction ideas. <laughs> wow, well, uh, that was something. Uh, you know, watching that, I almost forgot why we came here in the first place, and that was to look for a source for this, um, claim that's the cleanest park in the world, and I think it's safe to say that we found it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, we know, we didn't, we didn't find a source. Uh, so clearly, uh, the guy earlier in the video was, uh, he was right. Uh, they do only use the signs just to get people to throw stuff out, which obviously, as we see in this video, it doesn't really work uh, that well. Maybe it works decently, but obviously people still litter. It still happens. Not much you can do about it. So uh, since there's no source for this thing, you may be wondering, uh, is this false advertising? Could I sue if I wanted to? Well, the answer is no, because here's the thing. It's not really advertising, right? You're already in the park. It's not advertising anything. It's just saying, hey, this is the cleanest park in the world. And although that might be a false statement, it's not doing any harm. It's not an advertisement. So it's not getting you to buy anything. It's not really getting you to do anything other than throw stuff out. So no, you can't sue. And that's why they've been able to keep it around for so long. So at the end of the day, what's the message here? What are we walking away with knowing? Well, we know that uh, Citizens of Great America's uh, secret weapon, the pickers, uh, are not very effective and that sometimes you need two to handle gum and sometimes you just have to use your hands, unfortunately. Uh, we also know that Sixth Grade America is not the cleanest theme park in the world, although they very much so would like to be. And we also know that Disney obviously does not pay their janitors enough. $15 an hour, not cutting it. We need to get to 25 Anyways, uh, the last thing I kind of want to leave you with is, uh, you know, basically when you're at a theme park, throw out your garbage, don't litter. Obviously very bad, you know, for the environment and for people walking by, but uh, when you're at Sailor's Great America, eh, you know, maybe maybe put their uh, their picker to the test. Maybe throw a couple things on the ground, you know, just a suggestion. You know, let see if that picker, that secret weapon of theirs really works that well. I wouldn't mind throwing some things on the ground. Uh, but that's just my suggestion, you know. <laughs> I'm, not I'm not endorsing littering, man, not. Don't give me a $200 fine. I'm not about to litter, but hey. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. And uh, don't be mean, stay clean.